Assalamualaikum. Okay. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. Welcome back to another special edition uh, episode uh, that we're shooting here. It's called Young Minds, Big Questions. And in this session, previously you've heard with the younger children on what they have to say and understand, okay, regarding the articles of faith. Now, let us meet or hear from the parents' perspective. So welcome to Young Minds, Big Questions, Parents' Perspective. Okay, uh, with me today, we have our parent Jemaah, Brother Hadi, Brother Anas, and our resident um, Ustas, okay, religious uh, director of religious affairs, Ustas Adli, with here uh, here with us today. Alhamdulillah. Assalamualaikum, everyone. Waalaikumsalam. Great, great to have you all here. Okay, let's let's dive deep into it, shall we? Okay, inshallah. Okay, the first question, if I may ask to Brother Hadi. Okay. Okay. How do you think? The days when you were growing up have changed with the world today. Oh, okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I think pretty much uh, everything almost the same. But the key difference uh, between our early days and our, and our children early days uh, is the technology. That's I think that's that's the big difference in terms of experience and all. Uh, we go through. S- Pretty much the same, because when I see my children, they still play awesome. They still play batu seremban. They still play what we played before. Absolutely. And when I play with them, they were like, "How do you know this game?" <laughs> uh, I, I, and I told them, "Hey, during my days, we also got this, lah. Uh. And I'm already or tired on it already." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the key difference is technology and the social media, and that's what uh, really changed the way the young children receive information. And how they uh, process the information. I think that's the uh, key difference. I see. Okay. How about you, Brother Anas? What What do you think? How How was it like when you were growing up? How How things have changed with the situation now? <coughs> Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Assalamualaikum. Um, I would agree on Brother Hadi just now. Yeah. Um, it's about technology. Yeah. You see, if we compare, um, uh, I grew up in nineties. Yeah. And now it's what 2024, right? Yeah. The dif- the key differentiator I would say is technology and advancement, ah. Because kids nowadays have more option in life because of technology of yeah. of social media. Last time, what we do, we open TV. That's the only option. That's the only option. There's no <laughs> choices. Correct, correct, so correct. last time we don't have choice, and correct. we we live with that kind of life. And nowadays, kids have choices, and because of these choices, it has made them become super advanced. Yeah. I can see the difference between uh, my two-year-old kid and also my my myself. Sometimes I wonder how come you guys are so advanced. Sometimes there are so things fast. that I don't teach them, mm-hmm. but they know more things. It's because of social media. Oh, no, no, exactly. So, would you, brother Hadi, would you think is it for the better or for worse? Uh, I think whether for better or for worse, that depends on how we uh, perceive it, because it's not within our control. Even if we compare during our time with our parents' time, what differentiate us and their time is still the same technology. When we were growing up, internet was booming. But when our parents were growing up, there were no internet. So the challenges is sort of almost the same. But the access to the technology and internet, uh, for me, it rather amplify or you know it makes it uh, more. So you have to consume a lot. Yeah. Exactly. How about you, Brother Anas? Yeah, I would say that nowadays, right? Is mm-hmm. the world is so limitless, ah? Limitless. You see, like last time, for example, the best, the best that we had was um, um, Mega TV. Yeah. I think if you guys can celebrate Mega TV, so Mega TV was correct. like whoever has Mega TV, like the best, ah. Yeah. It was before Astro. And yeah. even that, also, <laughs> you you cannot like fast forward or you cannot record. Correct. You cannot. It's just like whatever is on the channel, you just watch. And we live with that kind of uh, world. Nowadays, the kids can just keep. Skip, skip, and skip, and so for me, and there's no limitation. Even social media, we have everything. You have TikTok, you have Shopee, mm-hmm. uh, you have uh, Instagram, you have Facebook, right. you have YouTube. It's like, and then you, as a parent, also sometimes you wonder, like, how am I going to control everything, man? Right. Right. But, but what we do as a parent, we need to be a good spy. 
Inshallah, yeah. Inshallah. Inshallah. Good surveillance. Yeah. Good surveillance. <laughs> Good, surveillance. Good monitor. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, before I continue, Bernas, you mentioned just now you're two year old. Yeah. Sorry, if I, if I may ask, how many kids do you have on your own? Okay. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I have three kids. Yeah. Uh, one, uh, the eldest is daughter, age okay. 11. Second is a boy, um, eight, eight years old. And then the last one is two years plus. You're going to be three years. Oh, how about you, Brother Hadi? Alhamdulillah, I have three boys. Uh, eldest is Musa. He was in the previous episode. <laughs> Nine years old. And then yeah. I have uh, Hood, six years old. And Idris, the youngest, uh, four years old. Allah, okay, so for them, what would be your main concern or worry regarding their upbringing? Uh, my main concern is definitely the content that they are consuming. Uh, we cannot run away from that, but uh, we need to regulate. But to be honest, uh, regulating it is very difficult because when they are doing it on their own, you cannot you cannot really supervise them twenty four seven. So we need to give tools, or we need we need to educate them on the principles and all, and then we. Berserah ke Allah InsyaAllah, insyaAllah How about you Brother Anas? My, my, my main concern right now You mm -hmm. see with the advancements of the technology right mm -hmm. So I have high hopes on my kids My hope and fear is Can they be better Muslim globally? Mm -hmm. can, they be, can they supersede me? My wife Because my expectation is When you have all this advancement In terms of knowledge, technology right. This is the uh, one of the tools for us For this young generation to be much better Muslim and they can cascade more dakwah in a modern context. So I'm worried if can I supply that kind of knowledge for them uh, to be able to be that global Muslim. Inshallah, inshallah. And speaking of that, uh, Brother Anas, okay. What, uh, when you were younger, what is the most memorable part about learning Islam for you? And would you want that for your children? Uh, I think last time uh, Islam was very simple to me. Mm. Alhamdulillah, my dad, my mom all practice Islam back home. So I think they make life is very they make life very easy. They teach. Uh, I've, I've known how to pray from as early as three, four years old. Alhamdulillah, mm. and I memorize a lot of surah. So that time I don't know how my dad did that with me because I was uh, playful. So I think one thing that I can learn from that is um, we must make sure that knowledge. And to learn to learn about Islam in a more simplified manner. Simplified so like manner. like like how uh, the the saying I, I'm not sure whether it's that uh, the sun uh, is it uh, hadith or in the Quran saying that up to six years old uh, you be you guiding your kid. Uh. There are three methods of uh, teaching your kids, right? Mm -hmm. So I I'm applying that lah. So meaning like right now I don't enforce because I notice that when I enforce my kid do this do this do this and okay. They don't want. They don't want to listen. So I, I let them become free, free role. So I teach more on the faith instead of the fake. I see. How about you, uh, brother Hadi? What mm. is learning Islam like for you when you were younger? Oh. And do you want that for your children? That is very interesting question. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, to be honest, uh, I grew up in Perlis uh, and uh, heavily Malay culture. So with I think within the Malay community, Islam is limited towards uh, you know your rituals your solat your uh, puasa but it doesn't they doesn't really teach you the whole lifestyle mm. and i think that was what uh, my experience was and uh, i do not have anything good to say because i hate pengajian islam back then i always <laughs> run out of the class uh, i always cause trouble okay. uh, i relearned the deen when i was much older and I really learned it from uh, teachers from the West. They are English speaking and when I really learned it, uh, I found out that why is Islam right now that I'm learning is so much different right. from what I've learned back in school. Mm -hmm. Because when you, uh, you know, you compartmentalize Islam mm -hmm. to just the ritual, and not the last time you make it very rigid and you make it very difficult for people it's all about how many surah you have right. uh, tajud you okay ke tak okay right. uh, dah katam ke belum and then uh, you know all this imposition uh, it makes me very rebellious and 
I run away from it lah. Restricted, yeah, suffocated yeah, in yeah, a way. Yeah. I see. So I see. to be honest, I don't want that, and I want to create a different atmosphere with my children, uh, so that they can learn Islam in a very more holistic way, and they can understand that Islam does not only about your pray, about your uh, mm. solat, about your fasting. It's the whole thing. It's about even when parents are not around, you have to remember Allah is watching you. Oh. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, yeah. inshallah. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of which. It, what most that you've mentioned just now, the holistic approach and way it uh, uh, a way to make our children to be uh, exposed um, to the religion, the faith in a different light. Mm. Okay, so I would like to ask for your help to help me continue this sentence here, Brother Hadi. Okay. Okay. Tarbia is. Okay. Tarbia is uh, learning. Tarbia is education. Uh, for me, learning and education is something that you experience. Okay. okay? Uh, one of my teachers, uh, Sheikh Yawarbaik, he said that children listen with their eyes. So, as a parents, the way we want to educate our children is not about instructing them, it's not about talking to them, but more rather to demonstrate to them be the best how to do it. Yeah, be the best example. Mm, inshallah, yeah. inshallah. How about you, Brother Anas? Tarbiyah. What is tarbiyah? Tarbiyah is for me uh, educating. Mm-mm. Yeah, educating and teaching. Okay. Yeah. Educating. In in what sense would you like to educate your children, if I may ask? Um, about knowing Allah. About knowing Allah. Knowing Allah for okay. sure. Number one, and secondly, is to use the the brain more. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. You you sometimes if some things that are too outrageous, you see, and it doesn't make sense, you you would want to be. You want to ask, is it is it is it true, right? And you want to refer back yeah. to 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 the scholars to yeah. see that is is this what that has been practiced by the prophet and the pious predecessors? Yeah, yeah. inshallah. So ustas, this I need your help, please ustas. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> please explain to us what is tarbiyah, ustas. Inshallah. Uh, <laughs> it is good uh, sharing from the both parents. Oh, yeah. Actually, alhamdulillah, help me doesn't. Uh, Tell me to 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 you know talk within that place because it will stop them from from, <laughs> from, from sharing it. <laughs> no, no, okay, no. Alhamdulillah, Barakallahu fiikum. Allah Taala bless both of you. Amin, Amin, Amin. Okay, about about Talbiya, what being said by our brother, both of them, is true. It's about uh, the Talbiya is actually educating and teaching or, or the worst, the best word is nurturing yeah. nurturing I mean, I mean upbringing of the children nurturing, yes but the way is it actually the, the the way of upbringing can be both and can be uh, you know like like being said by our brother about you know telling them to do this and that Mm-mm. sometimes making them to rebellious yeah but the same thing we can we can see that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam some things actually you you can you can differentiate there are things is so serious you have to be firm about it. There are things so you know not to be serious. You just just close your eyes. It's okay, because we we remember the Prophet so, so uh, when when Hassan bin Ali bin Abi Talib, his grandchild, one of most beloved, and one of the most actually resemble him. Mm-hmm. When 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 the when the Sahaba, uh, somebody said to him uh, to the Sahaba that I I dream of the Prophet. You know the the Sahaba will say. Who did you saw in your dream? Most of them you say, I saw Hassan bin Ali bin Abu Talib. Then the companion will say, you did saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because shaitan cannot resemble the Prophet from the outlook. So so because of, uh, they said, I saw this guy. Uh, it means Hassan is really, Hassan bin Ali will resemble the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So when he was a small child, he ate from the Sadaqah uh, Tamar. Sadaqah Tamar. He, took the tamar, ate it, and the prophet came to him and you know, kah, kah, throw it out. <laughs> you know, a small child, what can yeah. he know about that? But the prophet yeah. actually really firm about that. He said, don't you know? You're <laughs> talking to the child, don't you know? This, this is haram for Muhammad and the family of Muhammad. Uh, even even when, when he was, uh, the prophet was Salam. teaching his uh, stepson, uh, the son of uh, Abu Salama, Amru bin Abi Salama. Amr bin Salama, when, when, when uh, he taught his stepson about eating, and when the stepson actually eating, he said, Ya Ghulam, Sammillah, O child, say the name of Allah, Ulbi Yaminik, 
eat with your right hand. Wakul lima yali and we eat from what is nearer to you. You know, normally children will start to you know grab all whatever they they want. Your favorite to, food. Favorite food. <laughs> But Rasulullah said, eat from the nearest to you. So sometimes, like I said, some things uh, you know it can be firm. Something you can, can be you can be relaxed about it. Uh, it's not, it, the, the 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 situation is different. You said you are, you are you you are, uh, you know growth in the eighties. You also nineties 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 nineties. Actually, I mean the eighties <laughs> because I was born in seventies. Uh, so the, the different yes, I, I agree about about the the the, the we say tarbiyah. The nurturing is different. I at my time, I got a father. There is actually really strict. I never can you know I you know argue with, I, I don't argue we. Uh, all our sibling doesn't argue with our father. Mm. He just look at us just like that, and you know. Understand. <laughs> I, I understand. <laughs> It's so different. So traditionally, a way of Malay. But sometimes, actually, like like we said, the situation, the situation of of upbringing uh, in that time is like that. You know, some sometimes he's so he's so harsh, but one non none of our family brother uh, our family members run away from 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 the home, from our home. None of them, even though in 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 the 80s, uh, early uh, end of 80s, early 90s, we heard about children, uh, you know, uh, teenagers running away, running away from oh, from, okay. from home and everything. We actually we just thinking, what happened? You know, yeah. the upbringing. You know, they, they said the product is so so uh, you know strict. Strict. So the, the children running away from the, from the house, but we are living with the father that's like that. But we don't. We are not ready. So like, like, I agree. The 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 the, the difference is actually, the time and the situation is different. So need, need different approach. But remember one thing about 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 parenting, it's actually it's not about being uh, popular with your children. Mm. Uh, that that is so one thing, because we want them to 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 be good, but the the you know, the approach will be different. I remember my one one of my. My Christian friend, he asked me. He said, "Why you Malay, so harsh with your children? You know, you smack your children. You know, using a cane and everything." I thought about my how my what, what the situation in my house. Actually, I, I agree. I, I nod my head <laughs> to him. He's a Christian. You know, the Christian actually he they adapt the Western way of mm-hmm. of the uh, upbringing of the children. Uh, so that is when we are 15 years old. We walking back uh, from our school to our home, so we actually uh, uh, the, the conversation was there. I agree. I didn't say much, uh, but when we are 19, I came back from uh, learning uh, Islamic studies in in Perak for three years. He actually finished his high school and start to work at hotel. Okay. So at that time, I remember I, I came to him talk about a lot about. What happened uh, to our friends and everything? And suddenly, he uh, he, he brought a, a story about he want to, you know, to, to punch his father. Wow! Yep. I I, I said what? Oh, last night I want to punch my father. Why? What? I I I make him repeat the words until he stop. So I said, you want to punch your father? I said, why? You don't remember what your father did for you when you was when you are small. He care for you, nurture you, send you to the hospital if you are sick. Everything. Then, then he, he stopped. I said, "Do you know why you are like this?" I said, "Because you are not being smacked by your father <laughs> when you are small." <laughs> okay, I, I said to him like that. Like this is about the tarbiah. Yeah. When when the Prophet Sallam said about muru awal kum bissala wahum ibnu sabak, aw ali mu awal kum bissala wahum ibnu sabak. You must teach, or you you have to command your children to pray when they are seven years old. Mm-hmm. And after that, the Prophet said, "What did Buhum Aliha, Buhum Ibn Ash, and hit them? Even though we know that none of the companion hit their children until he come abusive, they don't abuse their children. But the Prophet said, 'What did Buhum Aliha, Buhum Ibn Ash, hit them if they don't pray when they are ten years old.'" So, so the thing is, when 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 I said to my friend, my Christian friend, I said, because you didn't be get hit by your father, this, you become like this. He don't understand why. I said, 
because children uh, you know they grade grade uh, grading this is this uh, one of education grading of of punishment mm-hmm. is different making him know that this is serious this mm. is less serious mm. Mm. even you know that in, in in the in in our country for every crime there are different approach yeah. by the government mm. right. you know we you know the, the 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 judge will give harsh or less punishment according to the situation so i said because you are always from your childhood your father always just you are grounded mm. you know the approach of you are grounded no tv for you 10 days no tv for you 7 days you you hit your your your, your sister you are grounded you hit your neighbors you are grounded you stole from the, uh, steal something from the sh- shop you are grounded i said ca- how can you differentiate yeah 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 i say i said because the prophet sallam he said about uh hit your children when they are 10 it's not commanding you to hit them but it's about to to show that it is so serious so serious mm. you know you can you can be angry at your child the most serious approach lah ah, the, the most uh, uh, mm. something you know when when they 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 they, they, they you know they, they skip school don't go to school or lie to you 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 actually you be angry at them or they steal something from the sh- from the shop mm. do something uh, smash the window of your your neighbors mm. so you you become angry with them but actually the most thing that they must fear Salah. is Allah alhamdulillah uh, that is the thing uh, so so uh, for for me the both of approach like you said yes is so different from our time uh, even this time you know uh, even uh, i don't remember that uh, my sisters talking back to my father hmm. but right now my daughter is talking back to me i don't love you <laughs> but at that time we don't say anything seriously so different approach different different time different times different, different approach. approach because because i agree that the the thing is uh, when you say about 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 what you learn uh, what you learn and what the children learning uh, the the situation is the same yeah but the problem is the 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 info is so much yeah uh, you yeah. cannot you can you you cannot like say uh, you know filter everything to be always yes. <laughs> and see yeah exactly yeah it's actually uh, that will hinder the, their growth yeah. you don't believe in them and and but mm. but to be to give them free at all time they you will not be become uh, popular with them betul you know they have their friend at a whole school say my father give me this and that right and you start comparing even my mm-hmm. my daughter she was she, six years old or oh, last year when we give her a time to go to the neighbor's house you know we don't get, give her gadget no gadget at all and we become the gadget no horse riding and everything. yeah okay so so because of that and whenever she went to our neighbor's house coming back she said mom can i play video games can i play with phone you know the the, the exposure from surrounding you cannot hinder their growth but you know sometimes you will not be popular not really that popular uh, because yeah. of that We, we we remember about, about I remember one one time, an auntie came to me. She said, mm, "Ustaz, uh, I have a grandchild. He have a problem. In the morning, he doesn't want to go to school. So tired, sleepy. So I directly confront. I said to her, I said, uh, did your grandchild at night play video games? She said, how could you know? <laughs> I said I also have nephew and niece. <laughs> you know, we we have 14 siblings. I number 13. Wow, so you can remember, Allah. you know, how many is in front of us. So I said I I know about that. Even even I, I see my the nephew of my 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 wife nephew watching at that time there's no uh, handphone give no. to give to him. But the t- cartoon network. No cartoon network. Day and night, three right. o'clock still wake up. I said sleep now. So the problem <laughs> happened that I said it's it's a common thing. Uh, that, then she said, but if we don't give him the video games, he will be, be angry and mad at us. Then I said to her, uh, Auntie, you who's the parent, you or the child? Mm. Uh, because par- parenting is actually not something that actually for you to become popular. Sometimes will be hurtful. In educating, like teachers teaching children, they are shouting and everything. It's hurtful for them. They've been hurt. Ustas, actually, that's 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 a very 
great point that you're entering, oh. which leads to my next question. Yeah, yeah. If I may, please, Ustaz. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the next question that, uh, as you've mentioned, there's so many exposure. There's so many <coughs> teachers, educate uh, parents are teacher. Uh, father is a teacher. Mother is a teacher. Uh, the the child could pick up information from so many sources. Yeah. Okay. So I would like to ask, um, Brother Anas first. Okay, if I may. Okay. Who plays? Who do you think plays a more important role in the child's tabia? The father, the mother, or the teacher? Now we need to pick one, right? <laughs> okay. Not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be okay. all answers. The sequence, ah. Uh, okay, right. Can be right. all answers. I I strongly believe that is the is the dad lah. The dad. dad because if we look into the Quran pun, we have Surah Luqman, for instance. Yep. Luqman is giving uh, advice to the son. And then you have uh, Ibrahim alaihi salam with the son Ismail, Correct. and we have um, Prophet um, Dawood and Sulaiman. You can see all these stories. Actually, it resonates that Allah has taught uh, Islam, Muslim, for instance, that the rule is actually the man. But there's also Surah to Maryam, whereby if there is no dad, the picture, so the mom take over, and so the mom, the mom still plays a pivotal role. But if there is a man, the man must rule in terms of tarabiyah because they have this um, I don't know like for, for me for instance right when I become a dad and when I start to guide when I start to become garang a film. A film, a film. That, that I can play I yeah. can have fun you can laugh with me but there's time when I say no is no when I start to increase my volume then right. my kids will understand that okay correct, correct. I, then normally I'll be angry when tak solat as simple right. as that like what Ustaz was mentioning just exactly. now exactly I, I prefer that style. Like, in, in terms of Islamic role, I, 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 I'm a bit more garang. I don't think Brother Anas is angry with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think Brother Anas is angry with that. You start caught my expression, you know, because... Uh, <laughs> You know, this is so and mucho. We yeah, got yeah. the question earlier, and so <laughs> I was prepping my answer. I was like, okay, you know, it's, I, I'm just gonna say the mother because you know, uh, okay. who is more important for the children is the mother. Three times the mother, and then. The father, right? <laughs> so I was prepared to answer mother, but when Melana <laughs> said that, we put it in that context, and I, I give, give me a, a deep thought. You know, uh, and we, we, we can remember, uh, even in psychology, if you see children when they were uh, brought up mm-hmm. without having a father figure, their role and their upbringing is very much different with children that have a father, that doesn't have a father figure. Okay. So. Now I agree with you. So, <laughs> in terms of the importance of parenting, yeah. I would say the father figure plays an important role yeah. because parenting, like Ustaz said, is the difficult thing. Uh, the parenting starts not when your children is playing with the phone. Parenting starts when your children stop playing with the phone. Exactly. Yeah. And you have to deal with them. I think right. that's a normal yeah. thing that we all experience. Even with my children, I have to say there are times that okay, I have. To do my work, this is really important. I'm sorry, but can you, you know, right. play with this for a while? But the moment, okay, enough. That's it. The moment we took away from them, yeah. that's where all the chaos. That's where all the toys <laughs> will go all over the house and all. And right. I was like, oh my God, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> How do I deal with this? Exactly. But yeah, that's where the parenting comes in. It's not going to be easy. Yeah. And but don't number one is the is the father. But if we look in a different perspective, mm-hmm. from a reality point of view, most of the time, the children spend their time at school. Correct. They are not right. with us. This, this is where the teacher comes in. This is where in. the teachers come in. Correct. Of course, uh, the correct answer, like Ustaz said, all plays an important role. Exactly. But exactly. To a certain degree, you know, uh, which is more important. Uh, but I don't really have the correct answer, but... I will agree with Brother Anas, number one, that plays an important role yeah. because the difficult part is always the dad. Even my Correct. children, they will tell the mother, uh, Ayah is very garang. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and they, and some, of, some of the friends know that when I'm around, they don't mess around. Lah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, if, if I may, I think um, both do play... Uh, I have no children of my own yet, inshallah. And I only have you all to look up to. But uh, one thing is for sure, we are all following the same guide, mm. which is everything that has been revealed, uh, taught by the Prophet and revealed yeah. by Allah. And uh, in terms of um, father and mother, one thing that I personally caught from my parents is that if the father says no, 
you don't go asking for a second opinion from the mother. <laughs> okay, okay. So I, I believe the mother has to support the father yeah. in saying no as well. Yeah. Likewise, the father has to support the mother yeah. in saying no to the child yeah. as well. Yeah. So they know that they can't go, you know, yeah. sh- shopping for second opinion. Mm. Yeah, inshallah, yeah. inshallah. Okay, <laughs> and which comes to the next question. Okay, there is only so much time that we can have with our children. Okay. And as Brother Hadi put it, most of the time, it's with the teachers. So I would like to ask Brother Hadi first, okay? Which is more important, a good social circle mm. or a good institution? Mm. I, I, I had this discussion with my wife Alhamdulillah. You know, <laughs> uh, on, on this question. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, because I, they say you need a whole village to raise, to raise the children. Uh, but from my personal experience, uh, a good institution will create a good circle because mm. uh, when I started to learn the dean, it is the institution that shaped me. Uh, I, I I went to an institution, uh, the the pretty much like Al Qadim, and Al Qadim was part one of the institution that I I, I had my tarbiyah with. Mm. Uh, the institution really shaped you because sometimes uh, is this can be like a chicken and egg issue which mm-hmm. comes first chicken or egg mm-hmm. uh, but from my personal experience is the institution because when you have a strict rule people tend to conform no. uh, and tend to blend in tend you know we follow what other people do so okay. when you have a good institution a good role model they will follow so my answer will be a good institution alhamdulillah how about Brother Anas? It's very interesting because my answer will be opposite of Brother Hadi. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I believe so much on circle. Social uh, circle, social circle. Not saying that his answer is wrong. His mm-hmm. answer is perfect. Correct. But my based on my own experience, life experience, I can see that if you are put in the right circle, and especially starts from home. So mm-hmm. circle, social circle will start from home. So if the social circle at home itself collapsed, then definitely the kid will not be... Good. Uh, successful uh, because at the end of the day social circle will uh, will will happen and will be success if the parents the siblings of the child be all involved and understand that the mission is all about Allah mm. that's all that's that's my take Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Ustaz I would like to hear from you Ustaz what do you think a good social circle or a good institution okay uh, starting from the, the first point about mother teacher uh, and father, father. <laughs> father. Yeah, okay. Actually, uh, what we said by Brother Anas and Brother Hadi, both is right. Okay, the difference is actually uh, when we say about father figure, we didn't have discussion about this. Uh, eagle father, tiger mother. No. Share who said this? We have that discussion. That is one of the first, uh, you know, sitting I talk in English in, in front of everybody. So, so the the the, the discussion was about mother. When the mother become like a tiger mother, you know, mm. they are talking like this because they're in the like Chinese society, the mother is so strict about the the, the the education of the children. The father always just looking around. Anything happen, he become okay, correcting everything. It's like that. It's, it's a normal thing to happen. Um, so, but but uh, like being said in the Quran, sometimes the the father doesn't have to talk so much. Mm. You know, not to every day. Yep. Like, uh, like, mm. like, like, like the, the advice from Luqman uh, for, for his child And also the saying of Abraham and, uh, and Yaakob To his children, their, their children It's actually one, 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 one item saying only <laughs> no, Not repeated But <laughs> mother will have to talk every day InsyaAllah mm. They have more quota also <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. That, that's, from that part, yes Okay, for the, the father actually Have to have the, the, the strength uh, the, the, the strength and the, the, you know the, the posture as a father to to, to, to give uh, you know rules and to be to be to be actually uh, respected that's why mm. when Helmi said mm. whatever is being said by the father the mother may have to you know to, to help mm. at the same time if you look at the children that being brought up by their, by their mothers actually but without the father uh, like uh, you know we are scholars Imam Ashafi'i rahimahullah mm. Mm-hmm. Only by his mother, no, no father. Uh, uh, Bukhari, Ahmad bin Hanbal, Malik bin Anas, all of them being brought up by mothers without father. Their father died and they were brought up by their mothers. So, so the, the thing is, uh, when they send their children, 
to learn, uh, the children are prepared. Like Imam Malik will be uh, after that, you know, want to go to 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 learn, you know, from after Fajar, his mother said, wait, wait, wait until people call for azan. He want to go out before azan. The mother is so careful about the children. So the thing is the encouragement and and the the the, the things that we build up, is really from the mother. The father is actually to to guide uh, and yes, for the children to look up. My hero is my father. Mm. Uh, it's actually like that when the father said things. It will be something inside their heart until 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 they die. Sure. That that is the character that the father have to have. The the, the mother, like I said, even if the 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 teacher, uh, you know, the children will spend more time with them. Their character is actually from that from that point. The circle and the 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 institution, the institution is like being said by our brother uh, brother Anas. Anas. It's actually yes. If you manage to 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 make them. Become polite in in the house, yeah. you know you don't you don't shout in the house. So he will brought the that character outside, and that character sometimes will affect their children, their 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 friends, even even uh, parents. We look that child is so polite. I want my child to be like that. So it it, it can influence actually, like the Prophet Muhammad himself. Mm-hmm. Actually, we can see that that he is become influence to others. But starting from 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 that point, but after the institution, uh, you have the good institution. It's actually preferable, lah. You know, you you should send them to an institution that will teach them correctly. Those who become the figure inside this institution mm. also, you know, institution the the the, the ustaz like to fight with others. You don't send it them because the, your children start to fight with others. You know, the the thing is actually related. Both mm. is related, uh, but but like I said. The the inside the house because the building uh, or the the unit of the society, the first unit is the family. Yep. After the family, the you know, the, the the village and everything. So so because of that if uh, the the institution is not right, it will be rejected by the society. It will not uh, be uh, long there. But if the institution is good, then it will, it will collaborate with the, with the society. It become better, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. But but it's really needed. But but different people, different approach. Right. Different, different approach. It's actually that like, I, I remember Alexis Carroll uh, uh, last, uh, last Wednesday when I was replacing our Sheikh uh, on his book, Don't Be Sad. The name was mentioned. I, I learned about this guy, uh, the, this author, when I was in Yemen. The book was uh, entitled Human the Unknown. Human the Unknown. Alexis Carroll, the, the Arabic say Carroll. <laughs> But the, the 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 spelling is different. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this guy he wrote a book. After that, uh, did uh, he did uh, and you know uh, studies, you know taking from the chemists, the the the, the biologists, the yes. everybody, mm-hmm. every every field that concerning human, he took from them the 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 the, the information, and compiled together inside the book, to to learn about human. And after that, the answer was human the unknown. <laughs> you don't know, you learn nothing. Because actually, actually, you you can have a set of 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 type of rules and and you know and good syllabus education, but people still have different that is the approach. Some some of them can be just you say one time, finish. But some you say ten times, only can finish. Can can stop their 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 attitude or their their character. Bad character can be can be can be told with one words, some with two uh, t- ten times, some with more. Mm. So because of that, uh, you know the the both uh, approach, both explanation, inshallah, it be right. Inshallah. Okay. I do I do agree with Ustaz as well as Brother Hadi and Brother Anas, mm. in a sense where um, they go together, a good uh, social institution yeah. as well as a good social circle. Okay, a family unit itself could be an institution. Yeah. Mm. A good institution will. Inevitably, mm. have a good social circle, mm. and inshallah, a good social circle will lead to a good social institution. Yeah, inshallah, inshallah. Yeah. Go, both, uh, uh, hand in hand. Cycle, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. I, 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 I remember, you know, the the, the beautiful thing about uh, you know Islam is that uh, I remember I learned this, you know, the tarbiyah of the children actually yeah. begins even before the parents got married yeah right. in choosing, you are choosing your spouse your husband or your wife so 
you know when we start was saying i was reflecting on that macam wow it's it's, it's amazing uh, you know amazing thing that allah has created yeah. yep. and how he reminded us you know good children is not just uh, when you dah kahwin baru you yeah. anak no even before even yeah. when you are finding the, the wife or when you finding the husband you need to pick the right person so that's how amazing the right person actually if if i may, may add up that the right person until starting from the family yep. you know my father yeah. is a policeman <laughs> somebody asked my sister sister uh, in hand for marriage you know what he did he will send it to the village to the to the to the place of the the man hmm. to study a uh, 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 cop to study <laughs> spy to like madana <laughs> said <a> spy <laughs> yeah, be a good to learn, spy to learn to, to <laughs> learn spy. about so to understand so to understand the family uh, correct yeah, he, he really, really, really that, that's the thing even if sometimes uh, when our parents say that who is father is mother we, even though we know that Abraham came from a mm. non-believing mm. father mm. and mother and the society that the Prophet Sallam was brought up the society actually the Jahiliya society they 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 encourage good values mm. but they are still in actually Jahiliya mm. so the Prophet Sallam he was been brought the, uh, up in that society, uh, society. but it's uh, the, the thing is the, the guidance from Allah yeah the guidance from Allah I mean, Allah Ta'ala help everybody yeah. but, but, um. but to to uh, you say to 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 do an effort for that yes do an effort like choosing mm-hmm. and everything yeah. Yeah. know the family yeah. how, how this family actually the, the upbringing is so different yeah. sometimes in, even in you know actually the harmonized harmonization of the family you know mm-hmm. you and your wife yeah. 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 In, my, in my family mm-hmm. you know you don't talk to your father back yep. uh, in your wife family maybe yeah. they, they argue with their father not argue you know, yeah, a healthy <laughs> conversation healthy conversation, <laughs> healthy conversation. Actually, <laughs> I looked to, at that I said subhanallah discussion <laughs> I just want oh, because yeah. I remember I know my uh, my sister actually talking back to our father. But when when we, we actually the, after marriage we know our friend and everything, but it, we we see that the difference. So so the approach when you with your wife, mm. you have to understand that she's yeah. not the way you be brought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. That is the understanding that can you know harmonize a, a little. Alhamdulillah, yeah. alhamdulillah, uh, Ustaz. So so actually will help you in upbringing the children yeah. uh, because sometimes your wife say that you are so harsh. Because in our family it's like that, but in family it's yeah. different. Different, different. I'm different. bringing different background. Yeah. You right. don't want to be fighting. You know, the children see the father doing this, mother that don't agree. Mother doing that, father don't right. agree. So you know, no, we, the, 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 the conflict from the start, the children said, "Oh, none of them are true. <laughs> Both of them <laughs> are wrong." Stuff is wrong. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> the, on on that point, right? The the conversation that I had with my wife, I understand that. I come from a different family I bring just like you said mm-hmm. my family values and her family values is totally different but uh, I always reminded her that when we are together we create our own we values are yeah. we are we create our own family values right. so we take the best from both world and that's where we so, you know yeah. bring our children so, so we betul lah ustaz we have to understand both are different right. now we are uni- unified yeah. so we have to create another yeah. value alhamdulillah alhamdulillah uh, I believe it all starts at the foundational value, yeah. right? And uh, before we conclude this, okay, despite the many approaches that we may have, okay, but ultimately, each of us has to hold on to the rope of Allah, mm. where that is the ultimate guidance, which in turn represents our faith. Okay, so uh, Alhamdulillah, mm. if we could. Uh, close this off with uh, Tasbih Kifara Before we conclude this So uh, Leading to this discussion As we had uh, earlier Was uh, with the children And now with the parents edition Okay Don't forget to join us Okay In our school holiday program In collaboration With Thinker Thoughts Okay Iman and Amal Where we dive deep yeah, yeah. Huh? A little, little, uh, Something to add up Something actually. to add up Inshallah Because actually uh, The thing When, when, when the, the topic was Iman and Amal Yeah So we are talking about our 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 role as parent. Yeah. Something that actually the the to add, to add up here, uh, when we send our children to even the most best institution mm-hmm. for them to learn, uh, we as parent, mother, fathers, you have to have the same knowledge. Mm-hmm. When you send them to a place that they will learn right knowledge, you will also have to prepare, because I right. remember uh, you know these days when children. Go to the uh, to the the different syllabus, IGCSE and mm, everything. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know why, but the the way they cater the the physics 
or the 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 the, the chemistry and everything, the 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 science uh, subjects, sometimes brought up to the children uh, an agnostic mm. Uh, mm. thinking. Mm. No, so be prepared. I understand. Uh, be prepared. Actually, for parents, please be prepared. Oh, prepare yourself because well. because 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 like I said, iman and amal. The iman actually will be will be test. Yep. Your children come and say after get getting uh, physics A one, he said I don't want to pray again. I don't want to pray anymore. Father, uh, then the father said why? I said why I must pray? I believe in science, but in God, in, in religion, I I don't say I don't believe. But I doubt about it. Evidence. Uh, evidence. Yeah. They want the evidence. Because science is all about evidence. Yeah, what yeah, you can prove, what yeah. you can see, what yeah, you cannot see. Yeah. It's really careful about that. So as parents, mother, sure. fa- mothers and fathers, be prepared. Prepare sure. yourself. Because because we don't want, uh, you know, we, inshallah, open to help. But you yourself have to be yeah. uh, strong in that. Because sometimes they, they ask, like, like where is the, the, is Adam was here. It's not from the apes. Where where, the, where where is his grief? Hmm. He didn't make the grief anymore. So sometimes this this Correct. thing, for me actually is so you know because because if the parent cannot answer that, you telling them to go and learn suddenly you said you, you yourself doesn't know uh, that actually you have to careful about that. Sure. This thing this question is actually sometimes came from the syllabus even though yeah. the place is so good you know but they are using some syllabus from from the western. Some of it is a spark things inside the, the the heart of the children and the circle of their friends. You know, some some of them actually not not playing these days. The games are not you know Batu Seremban only. You know online games. People yeah. from from US and everything. They are exposure. Coming. It comes exposure. down to exposure. exposure. Correct. And as a brother Anas say, hmm. it comes down to surveillance. Yeah. Exactly. Surveillance yeah. is very important. And uh, Alhamdulillah hmm. for us here at Al Khadim for the parents. You can come to Al Khadim. <laughs> okay, <laughs> on that aspect, you can come to Al Khadim. For the teachers, you can join Iman and Amal. Inshallah. Uh, inshallah. Bar- bar- inshallah. Bar- okay. Bar- so, uh, in collaboration <laughs> with our partners, okay, Thinker Thoughts, uh, as I've mentioned uh, in the previous podcast, it's going to be jam packed with activities. Snacks are provided. You can leave your kids, okay, while you also have some time for yourself, okay, to learn together, okay. Uh, and uh, inshallah, uh, after the program, we might even have a parents-teachers meeting to consolidate, to okay. see our understanding. Okay. And um, before we end, I would like to do a special shout out. Okay. Brother Anas here is actually our sponsor for the new Muslims uh, community Barakallah. kid. Barakallah. And uh, his kid, uh, uh, him uh, and his uh, wife, Okay, <coughs> Sister uh, Irina, okay, has uh, sponsored us many kids that has reached out to hands of many reverts. Barakallahu fikum, Madanas. And uh, they are from Zahara, <coughs> Zahara.co. Do check them out on their Instagram, okay, or check us out on uh, Al Khadim and New Muslims Community where we will tag them often, inshallah. Okay, so uh, before we end, okay. With, uh, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment if you want more content like this. Okay, let us know. And <coughs> Ustaz, can you please help us lead the task with uh, Kifarah Majlis? Actually, everybody have to recite it. Okay. Subhanakallah umma. Subhanakallah umma. Wa bihamdika. Wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka. Astaghfiruka. Wa atubu ilaik. Wa atubu ilaik. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.